Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipnewski. Thank you so much for popping back my channel. And today we'll be continuing on with the blending modes in LumaFusion. But before I jump into the tutorial, I just wanted to take a moment to say a very brief yet sincere thank you to the team over at LumaTouch. Thank you so very much for everything that you do for us smaller creators. It is absolutely mind-blowing how much value that you've managed to pack into this app. And with the addition of the blending modes, I am just absolutely blown away. There's other apps that you use, editing apps that have stayed basically stagnant. It's the same that it's been for the past few years. But you guys continue to grow and you continue to innovate. And I appreciate that. And I know a lot of my subscribers are very thankful as well. So from all of us to you guys, thank you so very much. We appreciate your hard work, dedication, and ingenuity. Thank you. Okay, so in today's tutorial, we will be utilizing the screen blending mode. And this is going to enable us to do a really cool double exposure effect in our videos. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. The double exposure effect is another video that's really not going to take that long to explain. I think the best way to pull off the double exposure look is to have something from nature in your main timeline. So I shot a few time lapses a few months ago, so that's what I am going to drop into my main timeline. And the video that I'm going to use on my next layer is going to be of me standing up against two windows. This is the exact look that you want to have when you're using that double exposure effect. And I just stood up against my windows. I exposed for myself, making the outside very blown out. And that's the look that you want to go with. You can do this by standing in your garage, exposing for yourself, and that is going to blow out that background as well. You can also just stand against a white background. If you have a white wall or a white door, this is going to work just as well. So what I'm going to do is double click that to get over to the properties window and I am going to just add a little bit of contrast, some saturation, vibrance. I'm also going to drop a LUT onto there. Go to frame and fit. And now I'm gonna to go to the blending mode and we are going to use screen to pull this off. Oh, there it is, screen. And you can see right there, that's all you need to do. I'm gonna make this a little bigger to cut off a little bit of that window frame. I'm also going to dump out the audio because I was listening to music and I don't wanna get in trouble, so we'll get rid of that. And that's it, that's all you need to do to get that super cool double exposure effect. But if you wanted to add just a little something extra to it, you see how the trees are just static and the sky is moving. What we could do to add a little bit of additional interest here is get those trees to move. So I am going to double click on my main timeline, go over to the very beginning of the frame and fit, and I am going to make this a little bigger. Drop a keyframe, go all the way to the end, and just move this over, and that's going to drop a keyframe of its own. And there we go, that should get the trees moving in the background. Just a little bit, not much, but that's just adding some additional movement within the video, which is super awesome. Let's go ahead and drop that out and show you how we're going to do text masking in just one step. So let's add a title by hitting the plus sign at the bottom toolbar, overlay title, stretch that out a little bit, double click on that, and we are going to change the text here. And we're going to change the font to something very heavy. That looks good. We're going to Make the size really big. Now we're going to go over to frame and fit and let's go to the blending mode and we are going to go to Silhouette Luma. And there you go. There is your text masking effect in just one easy step. Stencil Luma or Stencil Alpha is going to work as well. Let's say that you wanted to have a super cool effect with your text. If you don't wanna use text masking, but you do wanna have the text have a special effect, let's go to difference. 
And this is going to drop a super cool effect with your, there we go, difference. And that is going to give your text another special effect. So there's a lot of different things that we can pull off now with these blending modes. And that's how simple it is to do the double exposure effect in LumaFusion now that we have those blending modes. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do try to get back to all the questions just as soon as I can, but please be patient with me. I thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, wear your sunblock.